Today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your own private CS2 server that all your friends can connect to using your own PC. So straight to the point, if you can complete this first task, then the rest is gravy. The first thing that we need to do is set up a new port forwarding rule on our home router. Setting this rule up isn't as daunting as it seems, I promise, and I'll show you right now how easy it is to set it up on my Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. For me, I log into my router, navigate to my unified network app, then I find the settings, drill deeper into the firewall and security settings, and then click on the new port forwarding rule button within the port forwarding section. Apply a name, make sure you select the correct wide area network interface, that'll be the interface on your router which is directly connected to your service provider. Then set the port in both sections to 27,015 since that's what CS2 uses. Then in the forward IP field, input the local IP address of your computer. You can get that by running ipconfig forward slash all from a command prompt, and it is best to set a static IP address on your machine, so this rule will always work. Set the protocol to UDP and enable logging for the rule if you'd like. And that's it. That's the hardest part of this whole process. I don't expect many of you watching to have the same router as I do, but the process of port forwarding on most routers is very similar. Just type into Google your router model, followed by port forwarding guide, and there should be articles there to help you with this step. Moving on to actually building the CS2 server. This step is much easier and it'll be the same for everyone. Open up a file explorer and locate your cs2.exe launcher. Typically, it'll be in this folder here. When you find the cs2.exe file, shift, right click it and select send to desktop. On your desktop, right click the shortcut and select properties. I renamed my shortcut to CS2 server so I don't forget what it is. Then in the target field, paste this string with a space after the quotes just like you see in the description below. And if you want, you can change the map from DE Inferno to whichever map you want. Click apply and OK to save these changes. Now here comes the fun part guys, we get to actually launch our server for the first time. First, open up Steam and launch CS2 like you normally would. Once you're at the main menu in game, go back to your desktop and double click that new CS2 server shortcut you just made. This will open up a new console window, which is essentially the server master. You don't need to do anything else with this right now, but there is a lot that you can do here. However, we're just focusing on getting the server up and running today. Click back into your CS2 main menu and open up the in-game console from there. Type in connect localhost and right away you'll start loading into your new server. To get your friends on the server, all you have to do is share your public IP address with them and they'll type that in their console instead of localhost. If you don't know your public IP, go to whatismyip.com. By default, the server is going to run exactly like a normal competitive match so you can just get right into it. If you want to change maps, in the server's console window, just type change level DE underscore Mirage. And you can set the server up in any way you want, including workshop maps and custom server rules. So let us know in the comments what you want to see us cover in future videos. But quickly before I sign off, the network engineer in me does need to add this tidbit about cybersecurity. By opening up this port on your home router, you're essentially inviting anyone to come hop on your server. I'd advise you to disable the port forwarding rule on your router when you're not using the server and only enabling it when you're ready to play with your friends on a Friday, Saturday night, whatever it is. And if you want to set up a server that'll be running constantly, you should do it in the cloud and not on your home network. But that's it for now. Let us know what are the topics you want us to cover in the comments below and swing by our website cslabez.com for additional content just like this.